So welcome to another Shire Real Estate Wrap from Peter and Michael from Lang and Simmons Miranda. So the Reserve Bank opted to keep interest rates at its all-time low of 1.5%. This is uh, just leading up to the federal election in May. So a lot of buyers and some sellers might be wanting to hold off, waiting to see what the election result might translate to in terms of property. But there's no guarantee the property prices in fact are going to go down and there's no guarantee the property prices are going to go up. It's hard to know where the market is actually heading at the moment. But what has happened over the last 18 months to two years is there has been a drop. The median house price in Sydney is $930,000. And then overall that's seen about, about a 10% decrease in property prices across Sydney. But specifically in the Shire, we've seen decreases as much as 12 to 15%. So properties are taking longer to sell, and that's normally translating to more than 28 days, which is normally the auction period. So the other area to take into account is there are more properties on the market as well at the moment. There's some 80 properties in Miranda alone, which is on the market for sale. What we're finding is those buyers that are buying those properties, are, there are a lot of first home buyers. There's less investors in the market as finance becomes a little bit harder for them to actually realise. Uh, but what, so again, as we're saying is properties are selling, having said that. So the other point to make is the fact that rental market is also starting to level off. We're finding actually that in fact rentals, in fact, are starting to come down as actually properties become a little bit tighter as far as properties are concerned. So, but interesting enough, if you look at the flip side, if you really go back about 25 to 30 years in the Sydney property market, in, in that there has been about six of these cycles over those last 25 to 30 years. During those cycles, if you look at the stats, the majority of cases, the actual decrease has been somewhere between six to 10%. We're currently working, going into new territory where in fact prices have come down sometimes between 15 to 18%. So you'd have to think we're starting to hit near the bottom, especially when most of the time these cycles have worked over an 18 months to two year period, and we're currently going over now in the current cycle over 18 months. So you probably might be starting to see prices starting to bottom, and therefore the best way to translate that, if you are looking to buy, and possibly if you're looking to sell, now might be a good time to start coming back in the market because especially if you're buyer, you might end up having to start chasing the market again. So I might just hand you over to Michael now and he'll talk a little bit about, about selling in today's market. Thank you. An exercise to consider before putting your property on the market, or even now that you are on the market, is to utilise the web or even an agent to complete some very, very simple research. This research is around comparable properties. Might sound simple, although what we'd like you to do when you're looking at these comparable homes in the area is actually take price out of the equation. Now you need to focus on the points of difference. How are these homes being presented? Are they styled? How are they being promoted? Has the agent committed to a good marketing campaign with excellent exposure? Have you identified also who might be purchasing your home? What is your key market or core market and who do you want to attract into your property? Now bringing price back into the equation, is it higher or lower than what you expected? Chances are these successful results were because the sellers competitively priced their properties in the market, drawing in as much attention as possible and then allowing their agents to negotiate an emotional buyer and a successful result. If you needed assistance with this research in language that you can understand and in simple terms, a successful result on the other side of your property journey, feel free to contact Peter or myself at Lang and Simmons Miranda.